Hey guys, Chris with Super Fast RC, and today we're taking a look at the Turnigy Trackstar A Scale Censored Motor. So it's no secret, Turnigy Trackstar makes good stuff at a very affordable price. Yes, it's overseas, made in China. It is what it is, guys. But the Trackstar line, at least in my experience, has always been like the best bang for your buck you can get. Uh, I've been running the tent scale product for years and have had zero issues with it. I've had this ESC, this is the Trackstar Turbo 120 since 2015 or 2014 in this 8.5. They don't, I haven't missed a beat guys, been perfect. Uh, but like I said, it is, it's offshore. It's not, you know, the perfect, some dirt right there, uh, not the perfect, Cool looking motor it's got the you know the gaudy red color it is what it is people are gonna know what you're running into the track but guys it performs for the price you can't beat it so this is the a scale motor this is the 2100 kV uh, I could not get the 1900 you can but it comes from the Hong Kong warehouse and it'll take a month and the shipping's like $30 so they had the 2100 kV in stock, the USA warehouse, you know, it's going to draw uh, 140 amps versus 120, but you're going to have a little bit more legs on the uh, this one, of course, with the extra KV. So, anyways, guys, let's get into the box. So, first off, you got your track start decal. Most people don't run those. It's kind of like a sleeper thing. People, you don't want to know what you're running, right? So, here's the motor itself. It's got a machined aluminum can. This uh, matte red uh, anodizing to it. And looky there, guys. You got your mounting screws right there. You got larger screws if you want to use the, is that an M4 or an M3 screw? I'm not sure. I think it's an M4 or M3. It's an M2. I don't know. It's the bigger screw. You know what I'm talking about. Then you got your standard uh, motor mount screw holes there. And you can also use this in a clamping style motor mount. Um, Here's the rear end of the motor. You've got your solder tabs right there. It's got the old style PCB going on there. It is what it is. They work. And ABC, of course. And you have your screws to release your end bell housing. Now, I've heard people say on this motor, especially this motor, that you want to make sure you tighten down the set screws on the back of the motor. So I had my hoodie tool pulled out. I don't know what I did with it but I grabbed the MIP, see if they're loose. They are loose, guys. So let's go ahead and pull this thing apart, see what it's made of, right? It's not gonna hurt anything. So right now these retail for about $64 and you're getting a four pole, 12 slot at motor with very large ball bearings and a sensor to boot. So it's a really good value and we will see how they run. All right, so the end plate, end, end bell covers off. Here we got our sensor harness. Looks like we got some screws there. Ooh, you might even be able to adjust timing on there, actually. Look how they're kind of slotted like that. I think that might be adjustable timing. I don't mess with timing myself, but I know people that do uh, alter timing. Hold on, sorry, my microphone got caught on the shirt. I know people that do alter timing to get them a little bit of boost and uh, just get a little bit more legs out of their motor, but I'm not good enough to need that ability, to be honest. So, oh man, finding a Phillips head screwdriver these days in the world of hex keys, it's kind of a bummer when you see these, right? Um, I'd like to get a look at that rotor. Yeah, I really need, just need a Phillips. Where is it hiding out today? Okay, where is the Phillips? Phillips, Phillips, Phillips. Everything but a Phillips. It's usually how it goes. Uh, this one might work. It's awful. Used up. Let's see if it'll turn that screw. Yes, it will. All right. So... There's first screw. Here comes the second screw. 
just want to get a look at that rotor, guys. So we know what these things are made of. And they have great reviews online. You don't hardly see anybody ever having trouble with these. Make sure we don't scratch that rotor. If we can even get this guy to come out, man. It's got a super strong magnet. But uh, we'll get it out. All right, we're out. Here's the deal. So we have a Kevlar wrapped, looks like a neodymium magnet. So that's good. We've got a nice spacer there. Up front, kind of have some false advertising going on. So in the front, you see this ginormous bearing. So you'd think the rear bearing would be that big. Nah, it's just a standard bearing. Here's our Hall Effect sensors and the sensor port right there. So let's go ahead and get this thing back together. Now that we know what's inside. All right, you want to be super careful not, this thing's going to pull super hard when that magnetic field grabs it. Okay, so we got it back together. Let's go ahead and slide our sensor mechanism back in there. Okay, we got that. And let's get our little screws back in place. Be awesome if these were hex, but you know, it's a cheap motor. Can't have everything right. All right, that's in. in okay and that's in let's go ahead and put our in bell back on all right now following some stuff I've seen online with this guy you want to lock tight these screws when you're going back into the end bell just so they don't come out on you during a race so we're going to go ahead and put some loctite on there just to make sure we don't have any issue with the motor when we need it the most so everything i've seen so far is good it looks like a good well-built motor okay one screws in Let's go ahead and grab our next screw. Okay, got a little thread lock on there. Get nice and snug. Last one. One more. Nice and snug. All right. So. Where is this motor going? It's going in the RC8 B4E, which we don't have yet, but it's on the way, hopefully sooner than later. I want to show you also, it does come with the sensor wire. So I'll be using that as well. And it plugs right in this way. Yep, nice and snug fit there. All right, and then of course, alongside the motor, we'll be using the Hobbywing XRA SCT Z Run ESC. Good old reliable. And we can go ahead and plug this sensor harness right into the ESC. So, now I will tell you, you want to make sure you push that in there good and snug or else it will pop out on you. So, I'm going to go ahead and wire this up once I get the buggy in so I know how long to make the wire leads. But yeah guys, that's a super strong motor rotor. I mean like, those slots and the magnet are super strong. 
So, anyways, guys, it's been my first look, unboxing, and overview of the Eternity A Scale Track Star Motor. This is a 2100 kV. And uh, yeah, guys, we'll see you in the next one. All right, bye bye.